Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 23rd of 2023. Well, it is titled Afternoon Analemma. So what do we see here? Well, here we see in the sky what is called an analemma. Now, this uh, thing is taken by taking an image of the sun every day over the course of the year at the same time. So you, at this very same time, you just have a camera set up, in this case, a small pinhole camera. And all you have to do is open the shutter for a short time and close it and you're done for the day. And if you do that every day over the course of the year, you will see something like this. Now, of course, you'll see that there are some spots that are missing. Those are caused, of course, by days that may have been too cloudy to be able to see the sun. But we do see the distinct figure eight pattern of an analemma here. Now, this is because the position of the sun is not the same from day to day. It changes and it changes for a couple of reasons. And primary among these are the tilt of the planet from which this is being observed. In this case, the 23 and a half degree tilt of Earth. And that's what causes it to stretch up and down, giving us that distinct figure eight view that we see. So the up and down really relates to the declination of the sun, how far it is above or below the celestial equator. Now here we are observing in New Zealand. So we see that we would have the summer solstice when it's highest in the sky on top. And that would occur in south of the equator that would be occurring in December. And then the lowest in the sky, the winter solstice, down towards the bottom there, then that would occur in June. So it's inverted for that reason because we're south of the equator and therefore the months are backwards for those of us north of the equator and what we are used to. Another thing that affects this is the eccentricity of the Earth's orbit and that's really how elliptical it is or how much it deviates from a circle and that can also stretch this out a little bit because the Earth is moving at different speeds at different times of year and therefore the Sun appears to go through the sky at different rates and sometimes moving faster and sometimes moving slower. Now if neither of these two were the case this analemma would simply be a dot and the sun would be at exactly the same place all year long. But because of these two things do occur, we get this distinct figure eight pattern. Now the two long streaks that we see are when the camera shutter was left open for a little bit longer on two specific days of the year. And that would be on the summer solstice, the, when it's at its highest up at the top, and on the winter solstice down at the bottom. And that gives us the trails down below, the path that the sun took in uh, over the course of about 15 minutes on those specific days. So here, as we have the uh, autumnal equinox approaching for those of us in the northern hemisphere, we get to look at a pattern shown that shows a position of the sun for every day of the year for this past year, going from September 23rd of 2022 to September 19th of 2023. So that was our picture of the day for September 23rd of 2023. It was titled Afternoon Analemma. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Previewed to be Sunrise Solar Eclipse. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.